It's your boy David Lucas, man, and we live out here at South by Southwest. And I have these two lovely ladies with me, and I have my guy right here. What's your name? Mud. Mud, baby, man. Ice, hey, he iced out, man. So I want to ask y'all, as a collector, man, how are gas prices affecting y'all? Um, to the point. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I brought my hillies out yesterday. So y'all think Joe Biden doing a good job or what? Joe Biden. Oh. Got shit to do with that nigga. The last nigga are none of them. These motherfuckers are gonna do what these motherfuckers are gonna do. Yeah. And this is a money plan. This yeah. is their money move. This is the government's PPP right here. Oh, that's how they get the PPP money back. I'm not getting it back, but you know it's like a more sophisticated scam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. You think Joe Biden for yeah. for gas? No, nigga. So, so all of y'all, all of y'all voting Trump 2024, right? Hell no. Ain't nobody voting nothing. We ain't even vote. Hold up. Let me but find out. I'm saying, out. He, he, let me the find gas out. prices were better. Let me people. find out. The gas prices were better with Trump, right? Let me find out. It yeah. had nothing to do with him as an individual. They were better. He had. Please don't tell me you're uneducated. No, I'm not. I'm very educated. I'm a comedian. There we go, man. They said, they said, well, she didn't say Trump 2024, but they said bring back $3 gas prices. These $2 gas prices. everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate y'all, oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, you really give a fuck about the world and grab that plastic bag out the tree? Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that so long. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hustler boss lady. Oh, we got Laura. Hustler boss lady. The love is present. So you consider yourself an entrepreneur? Oh, absolutely. So how do you feel about the current administration? Um, I'm just in my own community. The love is present community. The love is present community. We're creating a metaverse of our own. So how much love do you put in your gas tank? Everything I have. Oh, that's amazing. And that's why I put everything down. I, I need her because I want to fill my gas tank up with love. Yes. 180 pounds down, too. Shit. I 180 say. pounds down. What diet is that? Keto? No, just like detoxing at night. You just got to drink tea at night. That's it? That's it. No treadmill? No treadmill. None of that stuff. They like got they got this new diet that's going around in L.A. It's, uh, it's pretty popular. It's called uh, cocaine. Oh! oh, no, I don't do none of that. I no, they, love. She promotes love. Yes. So can I can I stand this? You I get can money? have that. That's yours. Do I get to have money? Um, you can give me money because we're a nonprofit. But I'm trying to profit. But I, you can profit. But I'm the non. So you gotta give to me so I can give to you. I suppose so. And I'm gonna give you love on your journey. There's somebody that needs to love you Thank because you. you make us ha happy, and you might give us funniness. You might give us. <laughs> So with all that uh, love, how do you feel about the Russian invasion of Ukraine? I think that's very disrespectful. Why? Because why would somebody want to take something from somebody else that's not there? That's the same thing what it, it can be US, debated. That's the same thing what happened to us. But Putin feels like he's right. Who are we to say he's wrong? I'ma say stand for what you believe in and be the change that you want to see. There we go. And if I remember a man who once asked for change, and I think they call him Barack Obama. Are you asking for that same change? No, I'm a one love. <laughs> one love, one journey. One love. One love, love is present, that's it. I'm not saying I, I'm not promoting no Barack Obama. I'm saying it's disrespectful to take something from somebody else. And that's what they did to Africa. And that was disrespectful. So we gaining that back, and it's disrespectful what they doing to them poor people. Disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Yes. How you do people like that? How you doing like that? I don't know, but I'm going to have love. I'm trying to take some shit from people. I'm going to take some shit from some people. Yeah, I'm really. Some people owe me some shit. There we go. And I got to go get mine. Yes. They owe me a lot of shit. Hallelujah. <laughs> and there we have it. Love is present. Let's love each other, y'all, OK? Live out here on these streets, yes. but you gotta love. Gotta love. All right. Y'all be on my street interview. Oh no, y'all be crazy. We're not crazy. I'm just asking about gas prices. We here with my girl Molly. Hi. Y'all may recognize her from Kill Tony. Uh, how do you feel about current gas prices? Oh, I'm rich. I don't care about those. <laughs> Look at this shit. I wish I was white. That's some real rap. No, it's the tits. You have tits too. You'll be fine. <laughs> how much do you think I can get for these? I think you just have to work on your entrepreneurial skills, maybe, uh, right? Like, you just have to find your niche. Like, that's what I've done, and I, I don't worry about.
about gas prices. <laughs> Do you feel like the current president's doing a good job? Um, no, but I also don't care. Maybe he'll die soon. He's kind of old. So were you a fan of Trump? You think we should bring Trump back? I, we should bring him back on social media. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Bring Trump back on Twitter. Yeah. So no Trump 2024? Uh, maybe they'll let him back on Twitter. If that's the case, I'm sure. Yeah, right. Do you know American history? Barely. I barely went to school. Do you know who the first president is? George Washington. Do you know who the 16th president is? Abraham Lincoln. Oh, we got a smart one here, guys. <laughs> And I barely went. Yes. I know. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey, man. What's your name? What's up? I'm Danny, bro. Danny. I'll ask both of y'all. All right. So I'm here with Danny, and what's your name? Jen. Jen. We're here with Danny and Jen. No, I didn't. My chin is. David. David. Yes. Yeah, he knows me. And uh, I want to know, how do y'all feel about current gas prices? Current gas prices? Whack. Whack. Yes. Dog, I'm walking everywhere. I can't be driving around nowhere. <laughs> he can't right even now. afford to put $10 in his tank. <laughs> They're going down. I'm oh, optimistic. No, no, so you feel so like the, you, you feel like the current president is doing a good job? The current president? I'm, I'm not quite sure what he's doing uh, about any of that. Yeah. But uh, he doesn't know where he's at half of the time. No, bro. We, we, he just I'm called, not concerned yet. He just yet. called Kamala Harris the first lady. No. He did no. not. I'm sorry. To hear In a speech. That. So do y'all feel like we need to bring Trump back? No. Man. no. Why not? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> To be yes, he is. He was the best. Oh my gosh, I respectfully disagree. I like three dollar gas. Okay, well, I, I live don't in, think Trump brought you three dollar gas. I live in LA. Trump doesn't give a shit about any of us. He, he gave a fuck about <laughs> domestic imports and exports. Oh, he said he did. And local business him. people. I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur. I made more under Trump than anybody else. I I don't think Trump can take credit for any. I'm of losing that. money with Biden. There's cause and effect, and then there's just correlation. Who would you vote for in 2020? 2020? I voted for Biden. Who else could I have voted for, given my mindset? When Biden picked Kamala Harris as a running mate, huh? I knew it was a joke. You thought it was a joke? Because prior to that, remember, Kamala Harris called Joe Biden a racist. He's a very flexible dude. <laughs> have you noticed? It's a guy who's on camera. He's a, yeah. Look at Referring him. to black people as animals. Across the aisle. He's going to reach Walking way them up across the, the aisle. Not, not to mention Kamala's crime bill. You know what? Since when That's we, just one thing. Since when do we take words over actual actions? I, Trump had words. I'm a mom, and I think of everyone as my kid, and I just want to give them the space to grow. So I guess that's a mom perspective. Yeah. And a mom does not want Trump anywhere near her daughters or her Neither transgender Biden. child. That transgender child. <laughs> Don't want Trump or any of his people near that. Your person I'm hiding from all of you. What's that about Trump? I don't like what he said about the Mexicans. What did he say about uh, Mexicans? I'll leave it to y'all. This has been grand. Thank you. Thank you. What did Trump say about he Mexicans? Said, he, said he posted a picture. He said it's Taco Tuesday. Like, I love it. Hell no. Nah, I need to start Trump talking Trump gangster. He made y'all pay for the wall. Y'all look like y'all doing well under this current administration. How do y'all feel about current gas prices? Oh, I like to save money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't give a fuck how well I'm doing. I like to save money, baby. Exactly. So do y'all feel like the current president's doing a good job? No, I don't really keep up with too much politics, but if I'm spending more money, probably not. Yeah. Was it better under Trump? I made a lot of money during Trump. That's what I'm yeah. trying to do. That's what I'm Everybody got money up in this Trump. That's all most of us care about. That's all most of us care about, man. Thank you. Wasn't no war either. Wasn't no war. They were scared of Trump. Hey, thank you. We got everybody out here, man. We got Buddha Man, in case y'all didn't know MC Buddha. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's MC Booty, my name is Booty, man. We the real style on this side, man. There we go. And how do you feel about current gas prices? Current gas prices, I'm paying way too fucking much. I'd rather walk. What yeah. kind of car do you drive? Toyota 4 Rider. Shit's a beast. Yeah, you got a V6 V8? Uh, it's a V6. Not too bad, but yeah. No, not too bad, but I paid 40 for 10, and that's way too much. Man. Damn! Do you, so you, do you feel like the current administration is doing a good job? Fuck no. So you want to bring Trump back? For the business, you know, I, I, I understand. I understand people don't like how he speaks, you know, but he but just. But since when do we care about words over actions? Freedom of speech, right? Freedom yeah. of speech. Bring Trump back on Twitter. Hell yeah, hell 
yeah, I'm fun with it. Exactly, man. Trump 2024, right? Trump 2024. Bring back three dollar gas prices, baby. So uh, uh, hold up, I was paying 197 before the well, fucking change. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So MC Buddha, are you like enlightened with all love and everything? That's trying to be, man. We all have our bad days, right? But I try to move with positive vibes and intentions all the time. I'm taking all the money, huh? <laughs> Big big band though, we know what that stands for, guys. You already know. You we know, know what that stands for. You already know what time hey, show him that stack you got. Look at that, look at this nigga. Listen, listen. Why this nigga got money like this during the Biden administration? How <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you got money like that during the Biden administration? Let me borrow 200, man. Yeah. <laughs> Something light. This is light. This is for South By. Nigga, let me get the light welcome here, man. Welcome, welcome to South By. I'm doing bad, man. Me under too. This. <laughs> I fucked up. I'm this fucked man up. is thriving during the Biden I'm administration. Fucked, I'm fucked up. What your pockets look like during Trump administration? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Listen, vote. Listen, listen. Make America great. That's make America great, make great America again, goddammit. You heard what the man listen, said. Listen, he put the money up. And we got Bando in the Trump put the money where his mouth was. Yeah, he did. Black yes, people know sir. this, man. Yes, sir. He, had, he put them checks out. He put them <laughs> checks out. Hey, man, we got Bando out here there in the Southwest flexing on everybody. All right, man, thank you, dog. Where can people find your stuff? So, I'm really just a real trapper. I ain't got no Instagram, nothing. Find me on the street. I'm on 6th Street, Ambassador of the Block. That's this hey, guy. man, we in here, man. What's up, man? What's your rap name? I'm not no rapper, man. I'm a goddamn trapper. Oh, trapper! We got a trap in the building, man. We got a trap in the building. Trap guy, trap, trap guy in a ski mask. How do you feel about current gas prices? Man, shit, I drive a truck, man. I'm mad. Like an 18 wheeler? Nah, 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 not I know 18 wheeler, goddamn Chevy truck. Ooh, how much it take to fill it up? Shit, it can be a good goddamn 60, 70. That's not bad. Hey, but shit, hey. Well, that's Texas, guy. I live in LA. Yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, hey, hey, big so do difference, you, man. Do you, do you feel like the current administration is doing a good job? Oh, yeah. Hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah. he said hell no. Nah. <laughs> Joe Biden ain't shit, is he? Hell no. Nah. Bring Trump back, right? Hey, man, that's the best thing they need to do, man. Yeah, yeah. That's it's the best thing they need to do. Niggas for Trump out here. Niggas for Trump. Yeah. We got niggas for Get Trump. Get Trump back out here, man. Bring back gas that, prices. <laughs> I won't complain, man. Send me my shit, man. Exactly. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Domo, bro. Domo? Yeah, Domo. Like the nigga from uh, High Future? Nah, like Domo Genesis. Like the real nigga, Domo. Oh, Domo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got Domo out here on 6th Street. Yes, sir. And we want to know, uh, about current gas prices? Oh, it's high as hell. But I got, I got, I got the hoopty though, so we, we good. Oh, okay. I got the hoopty, the hoopty slide, that whole oh, good slide, Yeah. And the foreign car, hey, that whole expensive as hell. So do you feel like the current administration is doing a good job? Hell no. Nah. You miss Trump? I look you do, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna cap. Hey, I was getting money with Trump was. Everybody yeah, was. Man, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't got shit from Biden yet. That's shit crazy. <laughs> Broken promises, right? Exactly, exactly. He said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Yeah, hey, see it. <laughs> that's what he said. That's what he said. That's what Biden said. If you don't vote for him, you ain't black. So wait, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Hey, you're a funny man. Hey, appreciate you, fam. Appreciate you. David, that was funny as fuck, man. Good shit, bro. Let's be on this interview, y'all. Hey, man, I was sorry. Y'all gonna be on this interview? Hey. Dude, I mean, I'll be on this interview, man. Hey, man, dude, I remember one time I was up in there, you were doing the secret show, and I was I was heckling, I was being an asshole, and you were like, bro, hey, you better hop down, you better slide down that motherfucking uh, speaker pole and then come down here and fucking talk to me. And you were like, I'll pay you $200 to jump off that balcony. Yeah, he, and, then everyone, he said, and then everyone cheered. You're like, all right, 250 That's fine. <laughs> but I got a question. How do y'all feel about current gas prices? Uh, Man, that shit. I feel like Joe is a fucking <laughs> asshole, dude. <laughs> no, okay, that's too damn high, high, dude. Too damn high, dude. Too high? Too high. So do y'all miss Trump? Said, I heard him say earlier, Trump 2024. That's what I heard. I heard him say it, not me. I heard him say Trump 2024, hey man, not I, me. I didn't, I didn't buy it. I didn't, I didn't, I, I'm not okay with gas prices, but I also did just buy a Ford Bronco. So, you know, it's just, you know. You can even ride a scooter. I ride a ruckus, baby. So you feel like the current administration is better than the one that was just in? Man, I 
no, I'd say both, that. They're both pretty dog shit, dude. They're both pretty say, dog shit. I'd say, I'd say it's all fucked, you know? man. I just bought my car, you know. This car that I bought freely, it doesn't have good Biden, gas mileage. Fuck no. Biden. He voted for Trump, and he did too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, I'm talking about. I'm not going to get a job. Trump. Hey, wait on this man. What's up? How do you, I didn't. I didn't vote, bro. How do you? How do you feel about the uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine? Um, I guess, I mean, like, how I would describe it as, man, like, dude, we can't have no fly zone, like, that's ridiculous, like, this is a, this is a nuclear power, you know. If you send this man to Russia, he'll have it taken care of in three days. I'm not saying that, this, I'm just man. saying that, yo, the only way that I'm fucking fighting or I want any other Americans fighting is if there's only, there's boots on the fucking American soil. <laughs> if there's not boots on American soil, then I'm, that's the only way I'm trying to fuck anyone up. You gotta you know? protect home, right? You gotta protect home. Oh, yeah, I'm protecting home. This motherfucker would desert like a bitch. Yeah. yeah. I, hey, bro. I it's straight up. It's, it's I'm fucking gone, bro. bro. No chance. Yes, fuck you, bro. Me and you are. We got rifles. We're fucking people up. As soon as they touch American soul. But besides that, I'm saying no. Nah, so if you can give a message to Putin right now, give it to him. <laughs> hey, Putin. Yo. It's all good, just don't fuck I'm with America. Come see us, dog, we're on 6th Street in Austin, Texas. Hey, you suck dicks for a living, bro. In Austin, Texas, I don't care. Hey, yeah, if I, like, was, if I was Putin's mother. Ukraine, I know, that was the, I, know the, I know Kiev was the capital of the Soviet Union for a little bit. That's your shit, it's all good, but just don't fuck with America, all right? Peace. You're here. Hey, David, good to see you, man. Do y'all know American history? Uh, yeah, I feel hey, like I do. I'm in American history right now. Who was the first president? Uh, George Washington. Washington. Who was the 16th president? I don't fucking uh, know that. Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. There we go. What did he do? What is he responsible for? He uh, uh, emancipated the slaves. I'm from Mississippi, man. I know oh, all he, about this shit. He man. know all about oh, slaves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Ask him. Yeah. 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 His family still got a couple. <laughs> hey, fuck that shit, man. <laughs> that ain't true. Hey, bro, no, no, no. I want to say this to all the mother, to all the liberal ass fucking white people that don't understand fucking being around black people. Bro, I'm from Mississippi. I fucking grew up around black people. No, 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 fuck you, dude. It's like, dude, people in Austin that are liberal ass fucks, dude, they don't understand what it's even like to be around black people, bro. I grew up around an 80% black high school, man. Like, that's not, like, I love black people, and it's just fucking, it's fucking ridiculous, dude. I, I, have, a, I have something to say. Most white people who say they love black people hate black people. Hey, man, that ain't fucking true, man. <laughs> that ain't fucking true. I'm just saying is that a lot of people, like, they, they're they like, oh, you're from Mississippi, you know? Like, but you must be racist. I'm like, no, dude, you just didn't grow up around black people at all. Like, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You went, you grew up in college, you know? That's all you've ever been around. Yes, I agree with you, buddy. Hey, that, like, that, no, I was Thank y'all. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, man. We're out here on 6th Street with Fat Run. And Fat Run, I got a question for you. Uh, how do you feel about current gas prices? Gas uh, prices. Shit, I got a car. <laughs> so, do you feel like this current administration is doing a good job? Holy shit. God damn, y'all niggas got a, y'all got some ratchet shit going on right here. What the hell y'all got going on right here? Microphone fell off. Yeah, I see that. Sorry. Now I'm about to get on both of y'all niggas. I know what the hell you is. It's, it's bad for both of y'all now. How do you feel about the current administration? Current administration? Oh. Uh, so what Joe Biden knew? Yeah. Nigga, fuck Joe Biden. I don't give a fuck about Joe Biden. That nigga, that nigga shit. That nigga Joe Biden racist in the motherfucker. <laughs> You know, like, Do you feel like he's more racist than Trump? Yeah, low key. Once I almost got jumped at a Trump rally, right? Because I was, I was, you know, I was brainwashed. But low key, niggas might need to bring Trump back. So I hate to say it. Right? Low key, I kind of hate to say it. I think high key. High key. High key. <laughs> we was getting some. We was getting chilly. I mean, somebody was getting chilly. Somebody was getting chilly out here when, when, when Trump was in here. So low key, Trump. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I, guess I might have said fuck you a couple times. You know what I'm saying, man? You know, no, no, put back on me. Look, I was emotional, bro. I'm just being honest with you. I was emotional. But now looking back, I see what you did, bro.